Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to my respected brothers and sisters out there. I hope that you are all in the best of health and iman. Okay, so um, this video is again um, going into uh, this book here. This is the intermediate book. Okay, and this will be part two. Okay, if you remember, um, yesterday we did part one. Okay, this is unit number four. So, and today uh, this is going to be part uh, two. Okay, so we're going to continue uh, with unit number four. All right, guys. So, I'm going to remove that and change it to my main screen. So, hopefully, you should now see uh, the actual book uh, that we will be uh, using. And also, let me just put my highlighter on, my yellow highlighter, to make it easier for me to point to something. Um, so yesterday we looked at the conversation between uh, uh, these teenagers, right? Uh, one of them was named Steve, the other was Toby, I think, yeah. So we looked at the conversations and we understood that, you know, uh, you know that there are the, the the use of have to, the use of can, and the use of allowed to. Okay, so these are all um, modal verbs. Okay, and and when we talk about these modal verbs, these modal verbs, sorry, they do express something, right? So if you remember. I mentioned like when we use uh, modal verbs, we sometimes can express um, permission, we can express uh, obligation, uh, request, offer. So there's a number of things. Okay. So to remind ourselves, if I just go to my word document. Okay. So when we look at the word um, have to, have to. Okay. What what does this express? Okay. Now this have to expresses what we call obligation that's something that you you know something that needs to be done okay all right it's not a, it's not something that you can think about and decide to say yes or no it's something that you really need to do okay guys good and the other one was um if i remember the word can so can is what we can say is an ability okay something that you have a skill you know how to do something all right and finally uh, we have another one called be allowed to. Okay, so be allowed to. Okay, and by the way, the verb be allowed, the be can be an, an is, it can be an are, it can be a was, or it could be a were, depending if you're talking about uh, the present tense or the past tense. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to highlight that in red just so you don't forget. And this expresses um, what we say uh, permission okay permission permission all right guys so this is what we need to talk to think about so have to is it's an expression of uh, obligation okay uh, maybe not red maybe I'll just use a color instead uh, this I mean what color would be nice can I use can I use red? No, red is too much. Green. All right, I'll use green for now. Okay, and then ability as well. And here we have permission. Okay, so these are the ex these are these are the expressions. So these are all um, guys. These are all modal verbs, guys. Okay, so I'm just write it on the top as a title. Modal verbs. Okay, good. Hopefully, this all makes clear. Uh, it's very simple. Right, let's go back here. Okay, so we're going to continue today to the next page. Okay, um, so first thing, let's look at this blue box. Okay, so this is a good time to review the grammar. This is what we were just talking about. Um, here, okay, we have the three modal verbs. One of them is I am allowed to. See, the verb be is changed to the word am. Why? Because we are using the subject um, I, right? So actually, let me just see if I can make it bigger by using it like that. Okay, so we're using the subject I. Tamam? So here we can say I am allowed to stay up late 
at the weekend. So I am allowed, meaning I have permission to stay up late. Here it says I can stay up late at the at the weekend. So when I say I can, meaning that I have the option, the ability um, to do it, right? And the last one is I have to, okay? I have to stay up late at the weekend. So when someone says I have to, meaning that, you know, it's not a choice. They, they you know, it's something they, they need to do, right? They have to do it. It's an obligation, right? Good. So look at this question here. Here it says, which sentence expresses obligation and which sentences, this is now plural, expresses permission. So it's safe to say um, the last one, okay, I have to, this one expresses, okay, um, sorry, this one expresses permission, okay, I have to, and Oh, sorry, my apologies. I'm just getting myself ahead there. This is expresses obligation. My apologies, obligation. Let me just delete that. Boom, boom. Get out, get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away. Okay, good, it's gone. Right, so let's go back to writing again. So, um, so yeah, so now, so allowed to, okay, I'm allowed, so I have to, this is obligation. Okay, this is obligation, all right? Or I could just put my uh, little mouse and point it to this word. And the other two, which is I'm allowed to and I can, okay? They can both express permission, all right? So can can also express ability, ability to do something. And we can also use can when talking about permission, you know? My mum said, I can do that. So this is kind of a permission, right? Good. So let's have a look. The next part, number two, okay, this is number two. Complete the sentences with have to or don't have to. Okay, so this is an obligation, have to, don't have to. So let's find, let's figure this out. The first one says children go to school. So I think we can agree that children, right, have to go to school, right? They've got to go to school. That is, you know, part of life. The next one, very rich people and then work. So rich people, do they need to work? No. So rich people don't have to work, guys. Okay. Lucky them. <laughs> uh, the next one says you, uh, something, go to England if you want to learn English. English. So the question is, uh, do you have to go to England to learn English? Of course not. You can learn English anywhere in the world, right? Because we have teachers like me and teachers everywhere who can teach you from the very beginning up to advanced, right? So here we have to say, you don't have to go to England to learn English, right? We don't need to, okay? And the last one here, it says, in England, Okay, you and then drive on the left. So here, for example, I'm currently living and working in Saudi Arabia. So when you, we drive, you know, so we drive uh, on the right side, right? But before that, before I arrived, before I arrived to the to Saudi Arabia, I was back in London. I was driving on the left side right so it's the law so you have to so you have to drive on the left okay there's no other way <laughs> if you drive on the right you're gonna have an accident already good okay so hopefully that makes sense right let's move on uh to the next section here now here it says modal verb forms okay so here we have to think about when we say about the forms you know we're talking about the positive sentence we're talking about the question we're talking about the negative okay so here we have an example we have jamal can swim so here we're using the modal verb can okay so when we write it into the negative jamal can't swim good and the question uh can jamal swim so we're just swapping can with 
the subject okay and the last one is the past so the the past of can is could okay guys could so we have to do the rest do the same thing for question two three four and five okay so let's try and do this together so the first one is i have to wear a uniform so let's go back here i'm just going to write it here as a as a new section here so the sentence is i have to uh wear a uniform okay so here guys you can see that here we're using have to this is an obligation right okay so so first thing first how do we write this okay how do we write this first in the negative so the negative for the word have remember have to doesn't look like a modal verb right but it behaves like a modal verb so when we think about that the word have to we have to use normal rules okay what do i mean here we use the words like do or don't okay or does or doesn't all right so here we have i so we say i don't have to uh wear a uniform okay don't have to wear it so here here i've used a helping verb don't okay to to make this into the negative okay the next one we have to think about the question how do you write the question okay here again we're using the standard present simple rules okay so here we're going to say do you have to wear a uniform uh, at the end don't forget the question mark so here instead instead of um, here i use the word do okay so this is a closed question do you have to wear a uniform all right if you want to make it into an open question we can say why do you have to wear a uniform okay let me just close that so here we have why and do so this is now and open question okay and the last thing is how do we write the have to in the past okay quite simple we just say we simply say just make it to black i had to okay i had to wear a uniform okay there you go so that's good so let me just highlight the word had and that that is now in the past okay so this is the first example see easy enough right uh let's do the number two number two here is she has to study every day so she has to study every day by the way if you notice have have to as now has to why remember this one still follows the present simple rules right so you must conjugate the verb so if you're using uh he or she or it okay you need to you need to change the word to has okay so has to so now we're going to write all three um sentences okay the first one is going to be in the negative so we're going to say she okay what we're we gonna say she doesn't right remember this is the present simple she doesn't have to remember the main verb becomes basic okay so she doesn't have to uh study every day okay good so let me just highlight the word doesn't okay doesn't and have to just to show the difference and then we can write the question by saying does she have to uh, study every day question mark okay so here we just, here we did now use the word does and you can see we still keep the verb have not has have we only use has if we are talking about the positive okay guys the positive good and finally how do we write the past very easy we're going to say she oops 
it's always red i don't know why we're gonna say she had to okay she had to study every every day okay oops every day good all right so there you go so here in here now i've changed the word have to had okay good just make that into uh red okay perfect uh let's carry on the next one number th uh, three sh uh, so number four uh he can do what he likes so he can do what oops what he likes okay so he can do what he likes and here we're using the word can as the modal verb okay so how do we write the negative in this situation we simply just add not okay this is this easier than the uh, than the other two because the other two uh, because they follow the present simple rules but they behave like a modal verb okay guys modal verb so here now we can say he can't okay this is a contraction cannot can't he can't do what he likes okay highlight the uh, the change here okay and then to write the question we just swap the verb the helping verb and the subject so the helping verb can he goes at the beginning and then the subject he so can he do can he do or can he can he do what he likes all right and question mark good and here's the change here now the can is at the beginning okay good and you can see do is always basic right so when we think about the 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 modal verb uh, like the words can the the main verbs always stays the same okay guys and finally the past okay what's the past of can you should know by now it should be could okay guys could so he could do what okay he now remember now here we have another verb likes now we have to change that also in the past he could do what he liked okay with an ed right this is a regular verb all right so this is can be don't make don't forget that you know you have to keep the sentence in the correct tense okay so here we have could and uh, i've changed from can this is red and also i change likes with liked okay all right perfect excellent so that was uh, easy peasy now uh, let's go to the last one which is we are allowed to wear so here we're using the word allowed to okay so here what did they say they said where contraction we are where allowed to what uh wear jeans okay they can wear jeans okay now here to write the negative remember this one behaves like a modal verb okay but it doesn't look like a modal verb so we have to th think about the same uh, rules when writing in the present simple okay guys so here to make this into the negative we all we do is we say we aren't okay are not aren't allowed to wear oops sorry wear jeans okay so here what i've done is i've changed the r to aren't okay now that's the negative and to write the question remember this is a verb to be we swap the helping verb and the subject so now we should say are we allowed okay are we allowed to wear jeans okay so here R is at the beginning, okay, and allowed is the same, okay, and allowed is the same, allowed to stays the same. And finally, how do we write the past, okay? So the past, again, we focus on the verbs, the, the helping verb, right? So we, the helping verb is where we can check the tense. So here we're going to say what? We're going to say, um, let me just highlight, make it black, and we can say, Okay, we're going to say now we 
were صح؟ allowed to wear jeans. Okay, we were allowed to wear jeans. So now you see, I changed the word are to were. Okay, and that's all I did to make it uh, into the past. Okay, guys. So here we go. We have wear. Okay, we were allowed to wear jeans, and that's it. Perfect. You see, guys, this is a, a good exercise there to help you guys pick up and understand the differences between um, can, have to, and be allowed to. Okay, very important. Come on. Right. Okay. Now, um, here is just a simple chart uh, of, uh, and you can make sentences by combining part A, part B, and part C. So, for example, uh, I mean, there's an example right here on the top. I don't have to do the cooking. Okay. So, for me, what's true for me, let's say, um, my, uh, let's say, my parents, okay, don't have to go to work. Why? Because they are retired, right? They're retired. You know, they don't need to work anymore. Okay, so we can we can make many sentences of that. Okay, good. Um, for today, this is going to conclude today's class. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your attention and focus. Um, hopefully, you guys have understood. If you have any questions or queries uh, for my students, you know how to contact me. For anyone else, please, you know, write a comment. Again, thank you very much. Have a lovely, lovely day. Take care. Assalamu alaikum uh, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.